how much time I have left. These 5G towers, ever since they've been popping up, people have been like, being so weird. I don't want to say it's zombies because they don't they don't exist, right? Like that's like impossible, but I don't really want to explain what I've seen, what I've heard. I'm so I'm so scared. I'm hungry and I'm scared. I haven't left my house in weeks. And I keep hearing things outside my house. even work things. I've thought of a market star. Yes, but that was a present from Mum, remember? What that dinner service thing? Are you nearly finished? Yeah, just a few knives and forks and I'm done. Why did he say? Hands that do dishes and as soft as your face. It's my turn to wash yesterday. I've done it three times this week. My face is as rough as fuck. Got more bloody bristles than a toothbrush. And I love every single one of them. Oh, <laughs> watch it. Hey, that hurt. Ugh. You know what I saw in Tesco's the other week? Mango and passion fruit fairy liquid. What next? Kumquat. Kiwi. <laughs> Tomato, probably. Isn't the water supposed to go down the plug hole a different way in Australia? No, you're doing a lot of things differently in Australia. We don't call it down under for nothing. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, yeah, I think so. It swirls to the left, anti-clockwise here, and um, clockwise on neighbours. Hmm. You sure that's right? Yeah, positive. No, you're wrong. Clockwise on Coronation Street. What about the Oh, hang on. They don't really drink much water on there, do they? Fiver says you're wrong. Mm. Wanna bet? I'm hardly take a fiver off you. Yeah. Right, come and look at this then. Oh, bollocks. Missed it. Yeah, see? Yeah, hey, love. That's one plastic fat pound note you owe me. Mm, balls. I'll have to give you it later anyway. I'm off into town now. Need to return these library books. Oh, uh, are you taking your phone? Oh, yes. Uh, ah, thanks for reminding me. Right then, Edge. See you later. I'll, uh, I'll look after India. And uh, don't let him talk you until an upgrade. Oi, you. Don't spend too long on that. You'll get square eyes. Hi, Dr. Singh.
northern Sweden appears to have spread to the south of the country and across the border into Norway. Swedish authorities have issued a statement saying that the situation is under control, although there appears to be a media blackout in areas hardest hit by the initial outbreak. The social unrest and rioting... Two others received minor injuries and were treated at the scene. Swedish authorities have issued a plea for calm following a second night of rioting in the north of the country. The unrest appears to have spread to the south, although Stockholm so far appears unaffected. Norwegian authorities report isolated pockets of trouble in a small number of towns along the border with Sweden. Yeah, can you have a look at my phone for me? It's frozen on the home screen. I tried turning it off and on again, but it just won't work. Ah, uh, yes. We've had quite a few of those today. They've updated the operating system, and some of the older units have frozen on the reboot. Hmm. Can you fix it? It's an old model. There's not much I can do with it, I'm afraid. <sighs> have you thought about upgrading? No, I'm not on a contract. How much for a new one? Look, we've got a special on today. We're discounting a lot of the top units. Much more affordable. Let me show you. This one is proving very popular. Very. I'm sure there's something here to catch your eye. seems to be the problem.
So, how are you feeling after everything you told me today? It still seems so real to me. Seems. Before, it was real. But nobody else seems to remember it happening. I'm not sure. Not being sure is a good start. When's Barney coming in to see you? This evening. He's coming from work. Well, you do seem much calmer now, haven't you? How are you getting on with the quadrophene? It makes me sleepy. OK, I think we should stick with it for a little longer. Is that OK? Do I have a choice? But it does seem to be working. Doesn't seem so real now. You've worked really, really hard today. Well done, Angie. Well done. And you're confident of the outcome? Yeah, it's, the progress is, is a, a bit slow, but yeah, she's responding OK. And we're no nearer to finding out why she never responded to the initial treatment. You're always going to get the exception. But overall, the results have been outstanding. And have there been any other cases like this? One or two right across the country, but nothing around here. Yeah, it's good that she's responding. I wouldn't want to take more drastic action. Well, if she doesn't continue to respond, you're just going to have to kill her. This is not a test. This is your biohazard warning system. Due to the new COVID-19 virus, the following measures come into effect. We are announcing the start of the immediately effective nationwide quarantine, which has been officially approved by the United States government. Commencing at the siren, leaving your own household, even for medical or everyday errands, will be a criminal offense and will be punished with state-forced quarantine and, depending on the severity of the quarantine violation, death. Visits to relatives, neighbors, or friends will be illegal during this time. No one has been granted immunity from the quarantine. What's up, Mike? Hey, Russo, you motherfucker. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm having a drink. Yeah, I'm just getting out of work, man. Fuck you, my God. I'm going to drink out of No, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I got to go. I, look, I, I got to leave. Listen, listen, listen. We need to talk about this whole 5G thing. No, stop. Don't so stop about that 5G tower shit, okay? Stop telling me fucking stories. Who you fucking Walt Disney? I gotta eat dinner, like, I gotta fucking eat. Zombies. I'm gonna be eating like a fucking zombie if I don't get the fuck out of here, okay? Uh, I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay? Hand the phone. Keep smoking your pot and keep drinking the garage. Okay, go fuck yourself. Okay, bye. Eat a dick. Eat a dick. Bye. You were zombie. You want the doors around here? Let me drive all around town looking for your vodka. Nobody's home. Of course not. 25 bucks, by the way. Somebody was 25 bucks. Got money? Let's see if anybody's home. Hello, kids. You guys here? What's your mom on a bender again? Oh. Excuse me. Dog, excuse me. Thank you. Kids, you're home? Vodka? Uh, I don't even know about vodka. Uh, 
Oh, what is it, your business? Is she here or not? Look, Jasmine, look, your mother had to call me to just drop something off. Okay? You don't live here. Alright, uh, appreciate it. Bye. Thanks for helping me. Bye. Bitch. Jennifer, Jennifer. Uh, you see your mother room? No, why? She had me go to the supermarket, pick something up. And... What? Vodka for the second week in a row? Are you a servant or something? Aren't you like 40? So, she's not here? You haven't seen her? No, she's not here. Figure it out yourself. You're like 40. What the hell? Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, no Thanks. problem. Thanks. so ugly. Like, get a life or something. Another bitch. Final stage symptoms include erratic behavior, foaming from the mouth, and cannibalism. If you notice any virus symptoms, isolate them virus. Stay indoors at all times until further notice. There is no known cure for the virus at this time. Hey Mike, what's up? Seriously, man, this, this is fucking bullshit. No fucking way that could happen. Come on! care about dinner at this point. Okay? Oh my god. What's going
I know they're coming for me. Sorry. I can't. There's no way. There's no way. If anyone finds this, I'm sorry I was a coward. I'm sorry. You can't kill what's already dead. I can't go I can't go out like that. I can't go out like that. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here and say hello and ask how you're holding up. It's been like three days, I don't even know, but it seems like a month. I'm so tired of being indoors. I really wanna go out and get some sun, but they're saying that we probably shouldn't even be going outside. So this is the best I've got. I'm like literally so pasty for the summer, it's depressing. And my dogs keep barking at things. I don't even know what they're barking at. It's probably like there's too many neighbors at home or something. Or like children. There's like lots of kids home now too. Because who knows? Do you guys have any insight on what's going on? If so, sound off in the comment section below. And if you have any tips for me on how I can get my nice summer tan while doing whatever this is for however long we have to, um, or using olive oil or any kind of like products that I can get from home because I don't know if the maid's gonna come back and get my grocery list and what am I supposed to do then? It's like, how the hell am I supposed to fend for myself? Like, I just literally don't. So just let me know what you guys are up to. Love you all, I miss you so much. Mm, bye. Hey guys, I am just popping in again. Oh, my videos used to be so much more fun. This is so not fun. Um, but Muffy and Buffy have to go outside and potty and I can't even take them for a walk. And no, no one has come by to check on me. It's getting really weird out here. Like, um, normally I'd be really excited that I don't have people around, but the other night there was like this really creepy person and they were walking around kind of checking on things. At least I hope they were checking on things. Buffy, what are you doing? Oh my God, Buffy does not even know what to do. Buffy is like, we don't poop on property. Like, we just don't do this. 
but we're making do with what we have. It's not even anybody golfing right now. What is happening? Ugh, okay, so, and my pool service, what is going on with that? Um, so like, yeah, there was this guy and he was like looking over the fence and I thought maybe he was paparazzi, but there was something really weird about him. Like, I don't know if it's just the fact that people can't get proper nutrition right now with the grocery stores overrun, but oh my God, what was wrong with that guy? And I don't even know who to call. Like, what if he like gets over my fence and like actually sees in my windows? I'm such a private person and I just can't right now. It's just so much. So does anyone have any advice for like how to build things? You know, like we just board some things up or something. Buffy! Oh my God. My dog is like so lost right now. We usually have like people to help us walk them. They don't just like go outside and potty like savages. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff right now. And so I get really worried. And yeah, if you guys could just give me some insight on kind of like where you're at, how are you holding things up? Um, how do you make booby traps in case, you know, somebody wants to look at me, take a shower or something. It'd be so weird. But you know, people take advantage of hard times. They really do. Um, Oh my God, it's getting windy now too. Uh, I have no help. Oh, oh, there goes my hat. Okay, I guess it's time for me to go. I need both hands to hold this hat. It's a really nice hat though. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Okay, I normally would not let you guys see me like this, but that guy is back again. My dogs were barking like crazy and I, I, I don't know, I just I looked out the window and I saw him. I think it's the same guy, I don't know. But it looked like, it, it looked like he was trying to like dig. Like he was trying to dig under my fence, like. I'm literally shaking right now. And I would normally charge for you guys to see me like this, but I, I need someone to talk to. I'm getting really scared. Like, I heard reports earlier that it had something to do with our, our cell phones or like our Wi-Fi or our, our fucking, what was it? Oh, pardon me, our network? Was it our network coverage? Is it my cell provider? I, I think it might have been my cell provider. I don't know. I was only half listening. I know I should have been more diligent with this, but I don't know what to do. And, and I tried to call the police, but the lines are like, I'm just getting that busy signal. I don't know. And I don't really have any friends. And like, I don't know my neighbors. So I don't know if he needs help. Am I supposed to go out there and help him? Like, usually someone would tell me what to do and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ugh. I'm so scared. I'm starting to get really scared because I don't, I don't know if maybe I'm imagining this or if he's really, like, what am I supposed to do? I really, like, I have a lot of windows, and I don't, I'm in the tree, I'm gonna keep, no, 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 I can't even talk, like, I'm just so frustrated. I'm gonna keep trying to call the police. If somebody, like, knows what to do, I'm such a non-aggressive person. I've never hurt anybody. I've never used a weapon before. I don't even own a gun. I don't even own a gun. Um. My dogs are like really small. Um, oh my God, I should find my dogs. Oh my God, like I haven't heard them bark for a bit. Like, holy sh I, I gotta go, I gotta go, I'm so sorry. Okay, what it is, people don't seem to understand out there. The world has gone totally crazy. No one understands what's going on. No one knows what's going on. In other countries, in foreign countries around the world, it's all happening. There's a 5G signal that literally is emitting these waves. It's turning people into zombies. I cannot stress this enough. It's turning people into zombies. It's giving people 
coronavirus, the virus is mutating and creating zombies. You can get a piece of shungite, you can put it in water. Okay, put it in here, look. If you put shungite in water, that is going to protect you, that's going to heal you, that's going to stop your body absorbing these 5G negative radiation waves that is pumping out into the masses. People need to understand this. People need to understand. So I saw that guy out here again. I want you guys to see him and tell me if he looks sick or what What do you think? Like, I just want someone else to see him. I know I'm not imagining him. I know he's here. God, I just saw him. Where did he go? Fuck. I just saw him. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I think I see him. I think I see him. He's like... Oh my god. Hey, what are you doing? He's just standing there. He's just sta He's right there in the bushes. Do you see? Right there. Right there. He's like right there by that tree across the way at my neighbor's house. What are you doing? Oh my God, he's just standing there. Wait a minute, what? The fuck is that now? Oh my God, I think there's someone else there. There's something wrong with her. She, is she, she looks like, I can't tell she's really far away, but she's walking like she's hurt. I, I just, What do you want? I think that guy's coming back over here. I think that guy's coming back over here. Oh my God, what do I do? I wish you guys could see this. I want you to see these people. Like, I think there's something wrong with them. I, I don't even... Ow! Who do I call? Like, what do I do? Like, I can't, I can't get through it anybody. I gotta go. Okay. This might be my last video. I think I heard someone downstairs. <clears throat> Ooh. I don't know. I don't feel really good either. Buffy! Oh my god, I think Buffy's out there. Buffy! Shit. Buffy! Buffy? <sighs> Buffy, come get in here. Get, come on. No, no, where are you going? Come back. Come, come. Please, come. Come in. Hurry. Buffy! Guys, <laughs>
wrong with me? But... <sighs> Something's wrong. Guys, this is Syed Zero Zero Zero, and I think this might be my last blog post. I keep checking the news to see if anything's changed, but my internet's failing. My cellular reception is almost gone. This rollout's not what they told us it was going to be. Can you hear them outside? I don't know if you guys can see this, but they tried to get in. I can't flip the camera around. Take, take a look at this. I don't know if you can see that okay, but I, I managed to close the window on it and got his hand off, but this is serious. I don't know how much more I can take. I'm not I'm not able to get any responses from friends or family anymore. You know, I originally did this because I enjoyed connecting with the world and yeah, you know, I'd get a thrill out of being a YouTuber and a vlogger and seeing people respond and react to everything, but it's all going away. This is real. It's kind of crazy to think about, but it feels like we're seriously living in a historical event here. Something that's, I don't want to say apocalyptic, but if we as a society get past this, it's going to have lasting effects for generations. This is world changing. You guys know that I have a background in engineering. This is not what they told us 5G was gonna be. It was supposed to simply be using different spectrum that we'd already been using for different purposes, maybe different intensities. No big deal, right? It's not even supposed to be ionizing radiation. I don't know what this is, but there's more at work here than we know about and than what they're telling us. God, I keep checking for updates, but I'm just losing my mind here. I don't know if anyone's even gonna see this report. I'm walking around, checking carefully to see, oh my God. I think I see some down the street. Oh my God. I keep trying not to make too much noise because I'm just, I'm worried they're gonna, they're gonna find me. I think I can hear them coming. This is no good. I don't know if I can handle this, guys. I really don't.
we've got to get through this. There's got to be a better way than just sitting here and waiting to die. I've been following all the precautions, but still. <laughs> be happening. I can't believe this. It's not fair. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's not supposed to end like this. Guys, I I shouldn't be <laughs> infected. <clears throat> I that must have been the hand. Some somehow 4G or the the 5G has, has gotten to me or something from the the hand I chopped off, it's it's gotten in. <laughs> oh my god if anyone sees this please please don't don't forget to like and subscribe and share <laughs> seen that many out there before. God, I hope they didn't see me pulling. This shit's getting crazy. Fuck. Fuck. What the hell am I supposed to do now? That is way more than I have ever seen out there. Omaha, the only thing I can think of is that it's become one of those hot spots that they're talking about. I heard talk like, you know, a couple weeks ago. But you know what? You know why I think it was a hot spot? It's because those goddamn 5G towers. Yeah, they put them in like a month, month and a half ago. And then that is when all this stuff started happening. That's... Fuck, they found me. Shit, that sounds like a lot of them. God, I don't know if my door's gonna hold. All right, I don't know how much time I got left, but I gotta show you guys something real quick. Okay, guys, this is what I've been working on for the past couple of days. It hasn't been all that easy because I've had severe Wi-Fi issues. Okay, here is the first recorded coronavirus death in Omaha. Here, this, is when they started installing those fucking 5G towers. And then shortly after that, the first known zombie in the area. And if you look at the rates that they're expanding, they're at the same rate as the coronavirus deaths. They have to be connected. They just have to be. All right, listeners. First things first, don't forget to subscribe. Now, the only conclusion that I can come to from all this information is that somehow the 5G service, it is affecting and mutating the coronavirus to reanimate those poor fuckers that died from it. That's the only thing that I can think of. I mean, I don't know what we're going to do from here out. The way those guys are multiplying out there, there's, uh, I don't know if anything is going to stop them. We can't get out of the house right now. There's way too many. I don't know if I have enough food outlast it. And the worst thing is, is I'm going to run out of fucking booze. This is terrible. Fuck. Fuck.
hold up here for a bit. All right. My name is Enrique Montoya. This 5G shit is no joke. People that died from the beer virus just get up and kill. They're coming back to life. I know it's hard to believe, but that's what the fuck is happening right now. I don't know how much time I have left. They're fucking here. By the looks of it, I don't have a lot of time. My signal is weakening. That 5G shit is getting stronger. do stay the fuck home wash your fucking hands wash your ass whatever the fuck it is you have to do just do it okay motherfuckers you'll get your chance but I ain't going out like no bitch You guys will get your chance. It's time to meet old painless. It's me, Tommy, from Tommy's Blog. I'm still here. Don't forget to subscribe. We need to get all the views we can get. We got to get this news out there. All right. It's been 34 days since the first known case in Omaha. And for me, 15 days since I've heard or seen from anybody in my family. At this point, I got to believe that I'm not going to see him anymore. Alive, anyway. All right, here's my day so far. I'm on my way back from an unsuccessful supply run and I really need to get back to my place because my phone is almost dead. I was heading down the street to the mini mart. By the time I got inside there, there was way too many of them bastards all the way around in there. I was barely able to get out of there and back into my car before they were all over me. I think I've uh, made enough churns on my way out of there to get rid of those guys but uh, I'm almost back to my place now and man there are a lot of those bastards around here looks like when I get there I'm going to have to make a run for it into the side the front is way way too obvious okay Ready? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay. Alright guys. Um I am in my storm cellar. It's not a big spot. I'm just hoping uh, they didn't see me before 
I was able to get in here. Uh, this is the only place I can hold out. Oh, shit. God damn it. I don't know if this door... If it's, if it's gonna be able to hold or not. I don't know if I can make it out of here, people. But... There's one thing you can Don't forget, subscribe. Get the news out, okay? We gotta do this. And I want the hits. Jesus, I am fucked. Hey everyone, Fred Stevens here. I've had it. I've had it. I'm, I can't put on a good act here for these videos. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give you a great entertainment video today, okay? I have lost everything because of this stupid fucking 5G bullshit. And let me tell you, I am a vlogger, a internet personality kind of person, and I liked the idea of faster speeds, having speeds faster than speed of light, because I upload a lot of videos. I do a lot of posting on social media. So I was happy at first. I thought that 5G was gonna be a good thing for me. I thought that it was gonna help me out in the long run. I thought I was gonna have to keep sitting a fucking round waiting for things forever that were slow as shit to upload. Because everybody always wanted me to put things up in four fucking K. Do you know how long it takes to upload a fucking video in four K? Especially me, I ramble the fuck on. So my videos were pretty fucking long. So four G, you know, if and for put four K, four G wasn't fast enough. So I wanted five K, five G. So then I could upload faster and I could give you guys my beautiful fucking face and all its glorious details in 4K, which you always were up my fucking asshole. So yeah, I was excited about 5G. I didn't think 5G was going to scramble everyone's minds, turn people into fucking zombies, turn them into fucking crazy walking dead. I wasn't expecting that. Who was expecting that? Who thought that was going to fucking happen? And now, there's zombies outside everywhere. Everyone, every day, more and more people are turned into the walking fucking deceased. And I'm sick of it. I can't do a fucking thing. I can't go anywhere. Yes, I've got lots and lots of movies. Yes, I do. I have lots of movies. What's fun about that? And what's fun when you can feel the 5G singles, the f signals getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And how much longer till I turn into a fucking walking dead? How much longer till I turned into a zombinoid zombie? How much longer? How much fucking longer? You know what, I don't even care anymore. Here's the thing, that's the thing. It would be much easier for me to just go outside, leave my house, and hopefully turn into a fucking zombie. Because you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm fucking tired of being in this room. I'm tired of being in here. I'm tired of worrying about trying to put up some kind of a video to entertain all of you fucking idiots. I'm sick of it. I'm sick and fucking tired of it. I'm sick and tired of caring. I don't care anymore. That's the thing. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what any of you do. I don't give a shit what I do anymore. I don't give a shit about making posts. I don't give a shit about 5G. All 5G did was destroy my life. It killed my family. It killed my brother. It killed everybody. It killed every fucking thing that matters. I got no lady friends. Maybe if I was in this fucking room with a lady friend, maybe then that would help, but nothing helps, okay? So it's hopping off. I'm very fucking, I don't even want to get in. I'm just gonna go out the door and hopefully get turned into a fucking zombie because I'm tired of it. I don't care anymore. This is tiresome, and I'm not, I'm not gonna perform for any of you fucking idiots anymore. That's the thing. My performances are over. My content is done. Find someone fucking else, whoever else is there left, because pretty soon I'm sure even you fuckers that are watching are gonna turn into a fucking zombie. The 5G, the 5G is coming for you fuckers. So let's just, let's just set this fucking thing up. See me? Can you see the fucking door? Okay. All right. Show's over. Don't need the balling hat anymore. See you guys later. Oh yeah. Oh wait. 
Adi, ta-da, ta-da, my grand exit. I went out to, to see my dad because I wanted to give him some of the the shungite to put in his house to put put on his Wi-Fi. And when I opened the door, walked in, I saw my dad and he had the same shirt he always wears. And he was walking into the kitchen. And I put my arm on his back and it was too late. He'd already, already been bitten. So as I reached my hand out, he grabbed mine and he bit my arm. It was too late and it's too late for me now as well. I'd just like to say to all of you out there, take this fucking thing seriously. Please, please use this shungite because this can save you. This shungite can save you, I promise you, please. It's too late for me now. But I just hope I can help, really hope I can help someone else out there. When the dead roam the streets, the gates of heaven have been closed and a new master will rise from the ashes. What's up, non-believers? It's Skeptic Steve here. Bit of an, bit of an unusual video today. Um, as you may know, we were, we we're planning our next video. We were, we were looking, we were looking at five G zombie stories. You've probably seen them online, and with. <laughs> We thought it was. Uh, we thought it was uh, just nonsense, like like everything else. But so you know how we usually do our videos. Me and Brad, we we pour through research. We. We go through every secondary source that we can find and we go out and we go and see the site itself. And, uh, and so we did for this. We went and saw the 5G mast. And uh, <laughs> as Brad always does, he runs straight up towards it. And, uh, Immediately, as you know, touching it, making a point to the camera of how silly these people that believe this nonsense are. Of course, but we were fine. We, we were fine and we, we got home and nothing, nothing had happened. And then a few days later, Brad starts getting aggressive, confrontational. His skin starts changing colour. And it's, it's exactly like they describe in the stories. It's exactly like they describe in all the reports that I read from around the world. And he, and he starts, he starts hitting me. So I did what any rational person would do. And I picked up the hammer that was next to me and I smashed him over the head several times. And I, I think.
see, ah, oh, I went to the 5G Mars too. I went there too. <laughs> so I'm gonna start changing. Crazy 5G zombie fucks. No solicitors. Ah, shit. Just keep your mouth shut. It's less real if I watch through the screen. Hey Justin, if you're still out there, I've been walking for hours today. The world has gone to shit. There was some kind of incident, and this damn 5G phone network everyone has been raving about has literally turned them into raving zombie assholes all over the world. And to think we'd be safe here in Australia, 5G's rolled out practically everywhere. We're fucked. So I figure, right? All the wireless phone networks around here run through to a central point. This tower. So if I could jam it somehow, I don't know, it's just a theory, but if I could shut it down, could it neutralize the spread? Let's try and find out. Hey kangaroo, I'm pretty lonely. You want to be my friend? No? Ah, fine then. See you later. I don't know what happened here, but I'll tell you something. That's not cranberry sauce. Do you remember that time years ago, Justin, when we were younger? A place just like this. We holed up with those two country girls, sisters. Then their mama came home with the shotgun. Holy shit, we were running our asses off. Then you literally caught your ass on a barbed wire fence. We barely escaped. Good times, man. Seems like some well-powered individuals have been here. A gun would be pretty handy today, wouldn't it? But they're tough to come by around here. Thanks, politicians. Look at that. Beautiful. In the middle of nowhere. Look at us now, discovering beauty out and about because our faces aren't glued to our phones. <laughs> Says the dude with his face glued to his phone. Crap, what was that? It's nice, practically plastic. What's the chance a 5G zombie is going to pop out of here and eat my 1G face? Just had to be sure anyway. Fucking useless. Nothing we guessed could have ended up like this. Before coronavirus was bad, well then 5G came along and caused the perfect marriage of mutation. Anyway, it doesn't matter what happened. We all knew 5G was going to be bad news, but no one cared. They called us conspiracy nuts. 
I was conspiracy guy on Twitter. Everyone thinks conspiracies don't exist. They're too far-fetched. Unless there's a politician or a company that all the sheep tell you to hate. Then you suddenly miss the fucking citizen reporter connecting the invisible dots as to why the object of your projection must be pulling the strings behind some major bad mojo. Well, hey, bucko. Try this. Soak your fruit in boiling hot water with vinegar mixed in and watch the pesticides roll off. Look, if I can do this, shut the towel down, things are going to be different. Let's just go back to analog. Analog everything. Analog phone, analog news, analog movies. That means videotape. Analog ass. Screw your dating apps. Barbed wire. Great. Shit, I'm stuck. I'm bleeding too. This situation look familiar? <laughs> Can you hear it? I must be close. It's splitting my brain open. It's just over this ridge, I'm sure. Fuck! Looks like I misjudged the distance. The mapping app didn't work properly. And why was that? Not compatible with 5G. I'm just gonna sit down for a while. Yeah. I hear you, Justin. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, mate. But I'm glad you remembered me. My name is Lucy. I have a fiance, Adam. And I'm starting this vlog because it's getting pretty bad out there now. And I just want to document our story. So coronavirus has been going around now for the past few months. And it turns out anyone who has it is more likely to change due to the 5G waves, as they say. And changes for the worst. Um, people are essentially turning into zombies. And it's a freaking zombie apocalypse going on now. So, um, screw staying in this crappy rented house. And I've been working at a grocery store too, but honestly, screw that job. Customers just like, no one wears masks or stays six feet away. And we just need to get away from people. We've decided. So we're going to pack up our things, our essential things. We're going to pack up our camping equipment. Um, we're going to pack up this dog. And we're just going to find a spot probably somewhere in the woods or something. I have no idea. Um, Somewhere secluded, though, but we'll camp out and see how this all plays out, I guess. I'm stressed. Okay, we decided to pack up my car instead of his Jeep, although a Jeep would be nice. His car, his Jeep is kind of fucked, so we're just going to take mine. I just got mine serviced. We just think it's better in the long run to take mine. All right, come on, there you go. I'm coming. Okay, we're on the road. Um, they've been playing this weird broadcast on the radio. It's really creeping me out. Indoors at all times until further notice. There is no known cure for the virus at this time. We're gonna head towards North Nebraska, I think. Um, there's like a river and some camping areas, I think, before all this happened. <coughs> it might be blocked off. <coughs> it doesn't sound like it. But, 
Um, well, we'll just sneak around or something. <laughs> we'll break in there. We'll find something, right? Yeah, we'll find something. It'll still be fine, baby. It'll be fine. We'll find a good place. <laughs> I'll update soon. Let's play a game. Game? Right now? Yeah. Alright. I just want to take my mind off all this for a second. Okay. Let's play... <gasps> I Spy. Alright. I Spy with my little eye. <laughs> Something blue. <coughs> the sky. Dang it. Okay, it's your turn. Alright. Let's buy something white. That road sign. Congratulations. <coughs> you did it. I'm fine. We'll, just, we'll get to the spot. It'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's your turn anyway. Okay. Well, <coughs> I spy something black and white. The dog. Okay, we just stopped at this park. We let the dog go pee. We're gonna eat something. I just peed by that bush over there. Good thing I bought all that toilet paper. But anyways, we're gonna refresh, get back in the car. Everything's fine. We're gonna get to our camping spot. Okay, update soon. Okay. Car won't start. <laughs> the electronics are all fucked up. <coughs> it's also effectively locked us in. So, I don't know what to do now. Uh, <coughs> It's fucking hot. It's fucking hot in here. Can I just feel your forehead? <laughs> it's really hot. Fuck. I see you sleep. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Just let me sleep. Adam, are you okay? Oh, Adam. What am I gonna do? No! <coughs> I apologize for my absence as of late. It's been about two months since 5G went live. About a month since my last update. I've had to keep moving ever since the outbreak. <sighs> and nowhere safe. I I don't understand why everyone bought the lies. Welcomed it in. Sure, coronavirus sucked and there were a lot of deaths from that, but 5G was too good to be true. It was a savior. High-speed internet gonna keep us connected. No, it's gonna kill us. It did. Killed most of us. And those of us that were smart enough to stay away. Now we're all that's left. Well, us and the... military convoys. 
They come by about every hour or so. They're rounding us up. Uh, and I don't know why. I don't know what they do with us. I don't know where they take us, but they're rounding people up. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this on my own. There's so much that, that I had left to do. So many more things. If anyone gets this message, <coughs> I am in Salt Lake City, Utah. Please. Please come find me. <coughs> Is that blood? It's been 132 days since quarantine. Everything started out fine. People were secluding themselves. They were wearing masks and rubber gloves when they had to venture out, but then something changed. The virus took over and started to kill. Rations started to become scarce and gun sales started to rise. It was every man for himself. But the scariest thing is that the dead started to rise. They started to come back to life. I don't know, they think it has something to do with the 5G or frequency or, or, or something. But they roam day and night looking to feed on human flesh. Four days ago, my family and I got bit. Everyone died. But for some reason, I'm still here. I'm still alive. There's no one around. I'm all alone. If you can see this, go to the Hollywood sign. I, I don't think that they can climb and I feel like we'll be safe there. We can, we can scavenge for food and, and, and build shelter and be there together. But remember to protect yourself. Make sure you're armed and I'll see you there. Stay safe.
My name is Diego Garcia. Two years ago, my life was perfect. I was so happy, so excited. Everything was amazing. I had the perfect job. I got paid so much. My wife had a great job as well. I mean, we were just so excited, so happy. We were living the American dream. That's what I would call it, the American dream. Where everything is supposed to be amazing. But ever since the damn fucking five years cell service started, that's when everything went downhill. I never thought I would lose everything I worked for, everything I loved, everything I loved, it was gone. When the five years cell service came out, yeah, everybody was excited, yes. But guess what? Bene there were no benefits. That was the end for everybody. I mean, the beginning to the end. Yeah. That's all of those fucking damn viruses. Yeah, that's when everything mutated. Yeah, yeah. When all of these damn viruses came out, yeah, everything popped up. Yeah, the world started going crazy. They lost their shit. Yeah. We all did. My wife. And guess what? It didn't end there. It kept going. How the fuck did this happen? This was supposed to be the best year yet. And the fucking government, all what they care is about yeah, undocumented people. Yeah, they call them illegal aliens. Yeah, motherfuckers. They only care about building a wall, a fucking wall, for God's sake. They spend trillions of dollars fighting a fucking war. A fucking war, yes. That's what they've done for so many years now, decades. And guess what? No one expected this shit to come. A fucking virus has killed millions of people. Millions of people are gone. So if that is me, I have no food, no power, no cell service. I have no water anymore. This is done. Look at this. Yeah, this is it. The whole city, the whole world is full of zombies. Fucking damn zombies. That's what they turned us into. A fucking zombie. Mi familia? Yeah, mi familia. I know that I never gonna talk to them again or see them again. fucking American dream, it turned out to be a night fucking mirror. <coughs> no soy Nada de lo que fui antes. Solo queda la sombra. La sombra de mi persona.
No tengo nada por qué vivir. Por qué luchar. Por quién salir adelante. Sé que mis días me quedan contados. Mi familia. Mi madre. <laughs> We're all gonna fucking die anyways. Yeah? That's what the government wanted. They wanted to end up, end with everybody. Yeah? You didn't do anything to help. No. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Remember your power that you got. When you see the streets full of zombies, yeah, when the world is destroyed by you. This is what you wanted. This is what you get. La sombra humana es lo único que queda, pero no hay nada más, nada más. ¡No jalas! ¡No jalas! It's been six months now since the outbreak. We worked closely with the Chinese to create a wireless signal to shepherd a pandemic. The newly discovered millimeter was hidden in the 5G signal. It contained a harmful form of radiation to penetrate the skin, weaken the cells and make, and make us more susceptible to infection and create cancer. The 5G towers themselves transmitted radiation that sucked oxygen out of the atmosphere and help disrupt the regular functioning of the body. And the initial idea was simply destroy the weak, the elderly, and the sick, and the rest of the population would be more, more susceptible to our way of thinking, to our new world order. Obviously we failed. Our COVID-19 mutated due to the Miller waves. The disease was unstoppable. Simply put, we failed.
Let's fall to break the darkness. Ah!